Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to map network drive using logon script. I know this is an old method. Now we can use group policy preferences to map network drive. It can actually speed up the user logon process as well. So in the next video, we'll see those steps that how we can use group policy preferences to map network drive as well. Already I have created one shared folder for this demonstration. Let me open that shared folder, which I have created on C drive. Uh, this is the folder with the name HR shared data. Let's right click and see the properties. Let's click on sharing. And as you can see that folder is already shared. So I'm going to copy this network path. Let's right click in it and let's go put the copy. Okay. So I have a shared folder. Now our shared folder is ready. It's time to create a batch file script to map the shared folder as a, a network drive. And for that, I'm going to open notepad. And notepad, we need to type command nat use space. Here you need to specify the drive letter which you want on your client computer. In my case, I'm going to use drive letter M. And then you need to paste that network shared folder path. In our case, it is UNC path WS2K19 happened this is 01 slash HR shared data. Then now let's click on file and go for the save. Uh, I'm going to save this file on desktop. Here the first thing that you need to change is under save as type, you have to select all file and here you have to specify the name map.batch. See, you can use any name as you wish uh, in place of map, but the extension should be .bat batch file. Let's click on save. Let's close this and I'm going to minimize the server manager console as well. Uh, let me open my file explorer. Fine. So here, as you can see, we don't have any map drive created on my server. So we also want to test whether this uh, batch file is working or not. So that's the reason why I'm going to double click on this script. And that's it. As you can see, the script is executed successfully. And when we execute the script at the time, that network drive is also mapped on our computer as well. So that means that script is working fine. So remember to write this script, you don't need any kind of scripting language. So this is the normal NAT use command that we use to create a share folder. Fine, let me close this console and I'm also going to uh, disconnect this map drive from my computer as well. Okay, let's close it. And now I'm going to go back on a server manager console because we want to uh, open group policy management console and we want to create GPU as well. So let's click on tools, select group policy management console, uh, expand group policy objects and let's right click there and go for the new. Here you can specify the name, uh, whatever name you want to assign to that GPU. Here I'm going to give name map network drive logon script GPU. Okay, let's uh, select the GPU, right click on it and go for the edit. Under user configuration, let me expand policies. Here we need to expand Windows settings and here we have options for scripts. Uh, we want to assign this script as a logon script. So that's the reason why we have to double click on logon script. Now on this console, as you can see, we don't have any script right now. Uh, first of all, I'm going to click on show files. Here you can see we don't have any script under this policy. Fine. So again, let's me open file explorer. Let's click on desktop and here we need to copy that script which we have created earlier. Let's right click there and I'm going to copy it. Let's paste here. See, this is the console which we have opened by clicking on show files. So you need to copy that script to this location. Remember, this is the location uh, of that policy which we have created. Okay, let's close this. And now we need to click on add, click on browse. And as you can see that location is already selected because we have specified from here. Let's select the map.batch file and click on open. 
find the script name is there and if your script need additional parameters that you can specify from here. Uh, for this, we don't need any script parameters. So we simply, we can click on OK button. Fine. Let's click on apply and OK. Let's me close group policy management editor console because we have defined all the required settings. Now, uh, let's go back to our server manager console because I'm going to open uh, Active Directory users and computer console. For this demonstration, we are going to use this OU HR where we are going to attach our GPU. And under that OU, you can see HR user one uh, user account is created that we are going to use. Fine. Let me go back to group policy management console. Let's attach our GPU to HR OU. Let's select link an existing GPU and select map network drive log on script GPU. Fine, we have successfully attached that GPU to our HROU. And under HROU, we have a user named HRUser1. So we are going to log in to our client computer as a HRUser1. To taste this GPU, let's go back to our client computer. Here, uh, first of all, I'm going to update the group policy by running command GP update. But before we run GP update command, let me open file explorer first and let's click on this PC. Here you can see we don't have any map drive. Let me close this. Let's open run menu, type command CMD and at a CMD, you need to run command GP update slash force. Okay, group policy has been updated successfully. Now I'm going to run command log off. But before we run command log off, let me check file explorer. Let's click on this PC. And here, as you can see, we don't have any map drive. Let me close this and let's press enter key. Okay, let's again log into our client computer using HR user one. Okay, let's open file explorer. Let's click on this PC. And here we go. As you can see here, we have a chart shared data and that network share is already mapped on our client computer due to local script. So this is the way how we can map a network drive using logon script in Windows Server 2019 Active Directory group policy. That concludes our video demonstration and the next video we're going to use group policy preferences to map a network drive. Thank you all for watching this video.